Today we're gonna check out a new update from Sonarworks. It's 4.1 and they have done a lot under the hood and improved the software a lot. So if you haven't checked out Sonarworks, there's a link below that goes straight to Sonarworks and you can check it out. So let's go into the process and see what they have done. So the new thing that they have, they have now 37 different measurements that they do and that increased a lot. So what they say, it's now more accurate you get better uh, measurement in your room. And they also say that they have improved the software a lot. So you should get a better listening experience now than you got before. Um, but as I said, you have all those points that you can do. Uh, the design is much more explainable. And I think that they have fixed a lot of the design so it's a lot more easy to do your own measurement in the way it's supposed to be. I remember the first version, I didn't do it the right uh, and I got the wrong measurement. Uh, I thought it worked a bit like how um, ARC 2 worked, but uh, because I remember ARC 2 you had to keep the mic up like this, but so it works want you to keep it like this and always point it to the middle between your speakers at all times. So I think they have cleared this up a lot. So let's go over to the DAW, let's open Logic. So this is how it looks now, it's a bit different. You have a calibration file here, you have easier switch between headset and your studio monitor. So it remembers your settings uh, like that. You had an advanced set setting here, now you only can go between zero latency and li uh, linear phase. You had an option between here that was a mix between the both. And there's this big discussion going on now that people really missing that because they use that. But for me, that's not a problem because I've been using zero latency when I'm tracking and when I'm mixing, I've always used linear phase. Uh, they still have bass, boost and tilt. Before you could listen through different speakers. Now they only have two. So you have a movie theater sound target and you have a high fee speaker. So before you could listen to NS10 or yeah. I really didn't use that too much either. So for me, this wasn't a big change. I think they have cleaned up the interface. It's, I don't know, I like the look of it. So I think Sonworks really improves this room. I really can hear the bass is more, a lot more tighter. As you can see, I have some crazy dips here uh, that I'm really gonna take care of, treat this room more, but this dips below, I'd say 200 here is very hard for me to fix because it's it's the room size. So I can't do anything about how the room is built. So I will always have this base problems in this room. This is the result after Sonworks has done its job. So it has really helped me in the high and in the high mids and low mids. So I still have some dips there, but those are small and I can live with them. So this is a very, very good result. Down here you can see I have dry and wet. I put it on 85. That is because that's where I found it to be the best for me. I've been listening a lot to music in this room now. I've been listening to a lot of my old mixes. I've done a couple of mixes uh, and they all translate very well with the new, with the new update. I would recommend this software to everybody who's working with sound, no matter what. My experience with Sonworks is that it really helps your room. But there's a couple of things that you need to do to get this to work. You need to get some uh, sound acoustic treatment. Try to do whatever you can to make it a better sounding room from start off. And then you have to measure out where is your listening position, where are your speakers going to stand, if you have a sub, where it's going to be, how loud it's going to be, and what frequencies it's going to cut off. So you need to try to get the best sounding room without Sonworks before even starting with the program. So when you've done that, download Sonworks and you will just be amazed how well everything sounds. And they also have this standalone app that you can listen on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube to get amazing sound, even if you're watching Netflix or whatever. So you'll find a link below to Cinemaworks. I hope you enjoy this update. I'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe, hit the like button, take care.